welcome to this video. My name is Mike Christian from VetVis Consultants. This video is about the manual confirmation of pregnancy in cattle. Local regulations vary according to region, so this video should be used in conjunction with an approved training course. The video consists of um, four sections, three videos, so please feel free to stop, rewind, and actually go back to pits that you want to reset. The first part is looking at slaughterhouse specimens. The manual confirmation of pregnancy is usually done by an AI service provider or by a veterinary surgeon. It is done two to three months after AI or after a cow has been with a bull. This enables the uh, operator to feel the structures and make a decision. Ultrasound examination is the best way for confirming pregnancy. While an ultrasound rectal probe provides early confirmation of pregnancy, the costs and the availability of the equipment may limit its use. The requirements to conduct a rectal pregnancy confirmation are a long sleeve AI glove, lubricants, and a pen and a notebook to record the results. You also require a crush or ropes to restrain the cow. There are always three outcomes to a pregnancy examination. The cow may be pregnant, or the cow may be not pregnant. Or the third option is you are not sure. So therefore, do not be afraid to come back two or three weeks later to confirm that pregnancy. Manual rectal confirmation of pregnancy is a task that is quite easily mastered, but it does require a lot of practice. Firstly, to identify the non-pregnant structures, the cervix, the non-pregnant uterine horns, and the ovaries. But then it also requires practice with the model cow or with live cows that are pregnant to identify the pregnant structures. The procedure of rectal confirmation of pregnancy is to insert a gloved left arm into the rectum. Then sweep the edge of the pelvic brim to see if the uterus is hanging down beyond your ridge. The next step is to identify the cervix, then identify and palpate both horns of the uterus. It may be necessary to pull the uterus back into the pelvis in order to palpate both horns of the uterus. In learning this technique, it is important to be confident to identify these non-pregnant structures in slaughterhouse samples before moving on to the live cow and then the pregnant structures. We are going to start then with the non-pregnant slaughterhouse samples. These should be examined using gloved hands to, to simulate the pregnancy confirmation. Students need to identify by visualization and then by feeling the main structure. The cervix is made of cartilage and feels firm to the touch. It is always the first structure to identify. The non-pregnant uterine horns are softer, usually similar sized, finger shaped with the ovaries tucked in behind them. When the students are confident about handling and identifying the different structures, they should each approach from the vagina end, identify the cervix, feel along the horns of the uterus, and then cup the uterine horns in their hand, and then move their hand around the uterus and ovaries. This should be repeated several times until they're confident. Once they're confident, the slaughterhouse sample should be placed in a black plastic sack and the students are to repeat the exercise without being able to see. They should be able to manipulate the sample to line up the cervix, the uterine horns, and examine as before. Again, this should be repeated several times. Mm -hmm. 